Hey, Lord Reckoners, and welcome back to the bottom of the well. A name which I don't fully comprehend yet in its relationship to this game. But uh, when last we left departed ways, likely yesterday, unless you're watching this, you know, in no really. Anyway, uh, the last episode had us dying of radiation sickness. Very, very terrible, very unfortunate. Uh, I have decided since then that I am not going to take the course of action uh, where I wander the city more with, a, with the goal of finding chests. Uh, I think that is likely to uh, lead us to a similar fate. So we are going at this early decision to try and appropriate a car. We basically, you know, had the option where we were trying to find chests still, but now we are going to try and appropriate a car. Now, I'm concerned that doing so at this stage may be a bit premature. We perhaps should walk out of the worst first, and then appropriate a car. I am going to try and appropriate a car now, for better or for worse. Let us see. Uh-huh. By your description, this seems like kind of a bad idea. I agree, Hatter. Well, finding a vehicle was easy, but they had all been abandoned for a good reason. They weren't going anywhere. I had to find one I could feasibly get out of there with. An abandoned one you could feasibly get out of there with? Right. So how did that go? And what did Chess have to say about this? He was game. Anything to get to his sister faster, but he figured we'd make better time if we split up. I went for the car, he went to scout out a route. Sounds like a plan. I wasn't really sure what I was looking for, just that I needed a car. Stat. I found a station wagon open with the key in the ignition. No sign of the owner. I jumped in and gunned it, and got maybe half a block before I hit complete traffic stop. Everyone was beeping, people were abandoning their cars, all traffic rules forgotten. I'm not sure what else you expected. Yeah, well... I decided walking was the best option. The whole downtown area was gridlocked, cars everywhere, people running down the sidewalks, and the sirens blaring. It's one of those disaster movies- wait, we've read this before? Right. We have read this buff for indeed. Okay, let's skip. Let uh, let's try and find a better car. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep using car options. I'm still not sure how you're ethically justifying this to yourself. I was scared out of my wits, and it seemed like a good idea at the time. Fair enough. So how did you go about it? I uh, kind of just jumped into the first open door I found. Of course, there was no key because the driver still had it. He had just been on the other side of the car, seen me sitting there, he had a minor apoplectic fit, and ran at me, keys in hand. God damn it, Alice. I knew you weren't car thief material. I panicked when I saw him coming, and I went for the door. He saw me do it and tried to stop me, but in my squirrely state, I managed to close it in his face and then immediately lock it. Of course, he did have the key, but I managed to crawl out the passenger door before he got the door open again. Lucky, lucky. Hey. It was my first attempt at a car- at car theft, even if it didn't go very well. I'm assuming you stopped after this. I skulked around for a bit longer, but I didn't dare try another car. The next guy might have a gun in his hand, not the keys. So finally I decided to stop wasting time and start walking. Shouldn't you be finding some kind of shelter? Okay, so th that, those were- those were terrible options. Uh, let's- yeah, we're gonna find the shelter, and we're gonna end up in the subway, right? Yeah. Uh, ooh, here's an option I had I had forgotten about. I demand you stop looking for shelter, or I follow chess. The thing is, if I follow chess, let's, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm if, I'm worried about dying in the bomb again, like that very first time. Chess's single-mindedness is what led me. I was pretty sure this was a monumental mistake and that we'd get caught outside and killed for sure, but I couldn't just leave him, so he kept walking. The other thing is though, I don't think the game branches quite this hard. I'm pretty sure that we're probably gonna have to go through that subway scene uh, uh, you know, to progress successfully. So how did that work out for you? You think it was easy? People had driven out into the sidewalk since they- yeah, we read this before. Main highway, blah blah blah. Let's consider running. What did you see? So the bomb killed us, right? Yeah, okay, I mean, that's what I thought. So, uh, I just skipped all that dialogue like an idiot. I do not recall the first time the bomb dropped on us. Where was Chess? How did we get separated? Because if Chess dies with us, and I don't think he does in that scene, but if he does, then doesn't that kind of mean 
that no matter what option we take, Chess is doing the same thing. He is going to die. I mean, that's, that's, that's why that's why that can't be the case, I guess. We've got to have been separated, I guess. So, uh, let me fast forward to after uh, escaping the subway bomb salvo collapse thing, getting out, and I'll see exactly what decisions start then and in what order. So see you guys in one second. Okay, so we're out of the subway. I'm gonna go with, I want to make an attempt to find chests. That might have been what I picked last time, I don't quite remember. Right, it was. I remember this response. Is where would I start? Simple, we're gonna go where he lived. Right, so we're not gonna check my apartment this time. We're just gonna skip that completely. Um, decided to stay in the apartment. I wanted to find him, even if it was dangerous. I said, I'm not gonna physically. Um, we're, last time... What did I... Did I get this option last time? I feel like I did. Maybe this is what I chose. But I thought this was what I wanted to choose. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna choose this one. I'm pretty sure I didn't choose this one. I had a place to go and look at there. The only thing was actually getting there right. What it looked like the streets, awful ruined buildings, pretty difficult to travel. Yeah, totally. Oh wait, no. This is what I chose before, isn't it? This is, this is this is the path where I get to his sister and die, right? Oh, I died already. Gosh dang it, that was short. I'm sorry. Um. Oh man, I am at a loss. Let's... I'll try to work on that later. For now, before I forget to try it, I want to try the option where we go for the friend with the motorcycle. So let's fast forward to that option. Okay, decide the acquaintance with the motorcycle. The motorcycle seemed like a good idea at the time, except that when we arrived at his building, the first thing I saw was him, outside, prepping his ride together with a group of similarly attired, similarly equipped motorcycle guys. So much for borrowing a motorcycle then. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. He recognized me when I approached. He looked pretty distracted, packing up the saddlebags in the motorcycle with all kinds of things, but he stopped for a second to talk. Hello, I see you are making your escape. Would you happen to have a spare slot in your escape machine? He said he was headed towards a fallout shelter. When I asked him what he was talking about, he told me there's an old shelter down on 3rd, under the Rad Bar. Your old hangout? What are the odds? Anyway, he said he could take me, and he knew the owner of the place. Sounds like a good alternative. What did you think? Well, Chess immediately said no thanks. He looked at me. What'd you tell him? Uh, let's go, yeah, stick with chess, man. That's what we do for now. So no daring escape into the sunset on your motorcycle with bombs going off behind you. What a pathetic excuse for a power fantasy this dream of yours is. Hmm. I don't think it was ever, it ever was a power fantasy, or necessarily a fantasy at all. Anyway, I still had to make a choice, and I had already lost a lot of time. Oh, whoa, this is actually... This is almost like a minor bug. To try my luck with Motorcycle Man. Maybe this means to reconsider and go with Motorcycle Man. But this is just right back to the initial decision. So I... Th oh, man. I'm guessing there's gotta be... There's gotta be an option... Post... Subway system... That, uh... That I... Uh, that is the correct option. So I got part with the chess here. Dang it, man. Uh, don't think I'll go east. Yeah, let's get out of the subway. But what are the options? So last time we chose the middle option of no search for chess. Uh, oh, right. Oh, right, we can choose this. We don't want to check the apartment. We chose this one last time. Let's just try and get the hell out of town to avoid radiation. What did it look like? The streets? Awful. Right, we saw this before. Pretty difficult to travel. Indeed, but what's different? Survivors, there were others. They were shocked blind. Government don't know. Figure out where to go. I started coming across survivors soon enough. People like me, some of the backpacks, someone just closing their backs, absolutely wretched. Something... Talk about going back to where you started. Oh, we went to college, I see. It was pretty slow going, and even though I tried to keep out of the black rain, there wasn't all that much we could do. But at least we had a goal, and others to help us get there. So it was real, the evacuation center. Not so fast. There's a slight obstacle still on the way. Oh, what's that? The river. There's a river? Not something I had thought about either. I didn't live anywhere near it, so whenever I crossed it, I just drove over it. But there it was, a geographical reality. 
So, I mean, the bridges were surely still there. True. But when we approached them, we realized they were occupied. Uh-oh, by whom? I'm not sure. I saw them from afar and kind of ducked into cover. I saw immediately they weren't good news. They had guns and were harassing the other people who'd come to the bridge. I think they were mugging them. Did they let anyone pass? Yes, some. But I didn't know what the price was, or if they had some other criteria for letting people through. So what did you do? <laughs> well, we can decide to wait nearby and see what would happen. We can go up to them and confront them. There are other bridges across. I went downriver to find one. This option... Because on the surface it seems like the safest, I suspect it will have dire consequences. This also seems boring. We're going to confront them because it seems like the foolish decision. Let's hope it is not... Let's, let's hope it is the red herring it seems to be. Brave. I wasn't going to let them scare me. Hmm, so what were they? Just thugs? Part opportunists, part worried townsfolk. They claimed that they were protecting their part of the town from riffraff who were coming down from the city trying to steal all of their uncontaminated food. That this was just a kind of concerned citizen's roadblock. Conveniently in the way towards the main evacuation center. Yeah, but, well, I mean, they had a lot of guns, but I didn't really detect a lot of malice in them. I, it didn't seem like they were particularly wanted to use them. So what'd you do? Um, let's try... Out of these two options, we can give up, which we're not going to do. We can try talking our way through, or we can try telling them we have enough food and don't need to steal theirs. Which is the same thing as trying to talk your way through, so we're going to go with that one. I opened my backpack and showed them my food, although it felt like a monumentally foolish thing to do. Still, if they wanted to rob me, they had all the guns anyway. So that's the advantage of having food, I suppose, even though I probably don't really have that much food. Is this like a radiation indicator? I don't know. Just as I was going through, though, one of them stopped me and asked if I had any more than that. I knew they were actually highwaymen. Bastards! I told him the truth. No, I had food for exactly one day. He grabbed my pack and rifled through it, but I was telling the truth. Excellent! If we'd had two food, he would have taken one. Disappointed, he handed it back and let me through. We lucked through that. Awesome, possum. And we've made progress, so that's good. So, the evacuation center. My college. I'm not surprised I had dreamed about it. It's like at the center of my life right now. It was still in the dream, a big part of my life. That's where I worked, after all. Is this the part where the dream turns weird and the college starts spreading legs and begins smoking a hookah or something? Unfortunately, no. That would have been pretty welcome. A pretty welcome respite. Even so, it must have been a resp It must have been a respite. Proof that society survived. The United States weren't completely obliterated, etc, etc. Speaking of, what did happen to everyone? I don't know. Everything was still rather hazy. News was sporadic and often hearsay. There was a lot of talk about a missile defense system that no one knew we even had that had apparently managed to shoot down something akin to 90% of all the enemy warheads. Wish, wishful thinking. Based on what I was seeing, I don't really see the difference. 10% was clearly more than enough to wreak unimaginable unma havoc. Hell, 1% would probably have been enough. Anyway, go on. I want to get to the end. What happened at this center? At the gates, there was a screening process going on. A big plastic corridor where we were all told to undress and go through this super cold shower, after which men in gas masks and plastic coverings ran a Geiger counter over us. Seriously? So, what happened? There were two doors at the end of the corridor, beyond the men in masks with guns. Whenever there were Geiger counters frazzled and complained, you went right. Whenever it was quiet, you went left. I went right. They gave us back our old clothes at the other end, which was the thing that really should have freaked us out. Most were just grateful, but... But that meant they were considered... they considered you dead. Yes, through the fence I saw the ones going left, leaving towards the dorms, all wearing what looked like, kind of like prison uniforms. At least they were likely to be clean and uncontaminated. And you, where did that, where did they lead you? To the football stadium. Can you believe that? They didn't even care enough about us to get us out of the fallout. They had at least set up tents, stoves, and kitchen for us, all staffed by similarly irradiated people, of course, but presumably serving us irradiated food they didn't want to feed to the healthy ones. This can't be where your story ends. There's actually not much else to say. Crap. I got poisoned again. Now, oh, Ricky. How do I avoid the poison? I need to stay out of the radiation somehow. Do I... S do I hide in the subway 
for a day to let the radiation die down a little bit. That does not seem smart to me. I don't, like I chose the aggressive options here because I was trying to avoid getting radiation sickness and I still got it anyway. <sighs> what can I change? How can I hasten things up? Can I customize? I should look, I suppose, at what about Alice I can customize. Because if there's a way I can increase her radiation resistance, that would be appreciated. I don't think there's any equipment that helps increase radiation resistance. Uh, oh, maybe being in the motorcycle or something? No, because the motorcycle stuff all takes place prior to... Uh, the bomb being dropped. Pick up the items already, you lagging piece of crap. Crowbar. I don't need the crowbar, really. Flashlight I need for the tunnels. I haven't... I haven't the only things I've eaten... Spare clothes. Haven't helped. Extra food wouldn't help. Oh, wait, now you drop it. Is that to re-trigger it? You gonna pick that up? You gonna pick up that crowbar? Wait, where did I pick up those extra? What did I pick up that was extra? This is always what I pick up. This is always what I pick up. What are you talking about? Drop everything. Yeah, lagging piece of crap. Okay, it's lagging. Um, I'm gonna cut out. You know, I'll, let's let Mr. Snip Snip go to the point in time where it's cooperating. So we're not gonna take any food, I guess. Is the crowbar new? There's gotta be... Why can't I carry everything? I swear I carried more than this before. This is... Hold on a second, a crowbar? Did you see you brought a crowbar? Yes, this is... Crowbar is new. I actually... That is weird. I was packing my stuff when I suddenly remembered I bought a crowbar. So I guess this is new because I got a steam achievement for having basically failed five times. So maybe it's necessary or maybe it's a handicap. I don't, or like a, a you know, a get out of jail free type card. Let's, let's see. I bought a crowbar at some point years ago. I know it's weird remembering doing something in the future that I will do, that I will do in the future because I sure as hell don't own any crowbars. I don't think a lot of people do. It's a pretty specialized tool unless you're a farmer. Well, I did say it was a pretty special dream. Go on, Burrow Sisters. We have no food. What could we use this crowbar for, though? It can't really help us appropriate a car without keys. I don't, I mean, it could help us get out of a tunnel collapsing on us. But... We don't really need that. So let's, uh... Oh man, let's get back to that bridge sequence, I guess. Or the point where we see the bridge and we have the option. So what do we do? We got radiation on us already. Let's, uh... Get the hell out of town. It's an important one. Uh, okay, so let's... Down river to find a bridge. That's an option. Confront them is an option. Confront. So here we're already screwed. I'm pretty sure we're all ready screwed. Sister bridge. We go to different bridge. Subway station. Bunch of apartment. Subway station to bridge. This map. Maybe we shouldn't have had the map. What is that? A sound. Okay. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Can I put on? The rest of my clothes are in a state of advanced disarray, but I've kept a, a clean. I've, I've kept a set clean and folded in case I suddenly find myself on a date. Are you mocking me, Alice? Interesting. How do I use an item? Hmm. Because I'm wondering if I can put on clean clothes once I lose mine. Let's confront them again. See what happens without, without food. I want to see what happens. Uh, oh, right. Try talking my way through. Ah, yes, the famous fast talk. How did that go? 
I tried various versions of bacon and cajoling, but they had to hurt it all. Either I had the supplies to pass or I didn't. That was it. So what did I do? I told them I had enough food? Um, they didn't care about that food, did they? Yeah. Okay, let's reconsider the whole thing. I'm gonna die now. I need that food, don't I? Let's try a different bridge. At least we're gonna explore a different bridge option to see what happens. <sighs> How much time did you lose? There's actually not much else to say. Yeah, I died before getting a second bridge. Gosh dang it. So we need that food. We need that food to cross the bridge. I still don't know how to avoid not being too gosh dang irradiated. Uh, we can try waiting in the subway. Uh, we're going to have to do that in the next episode because we are out of time. So I will see you guys. I guess I'll be, you'll recognize me because I'll be in a fetal position praying with my crowbar to save me from radiation. I don't know. This is a puzzle. See you guys in the next episode. Signature catchphrase.